too many geology we're too many geology volcanoes around the world why are some more dangerous than others why are their shapes different why are volcanoes found in some places on earth and not others Volcanoes form where magma from below rises to the surface and flows out onto the surface. Lava! And those magmas form in specific plate tectonic settings like subduction zones, seafloor spreading centers, or hot spots. But that explains the location of volcanoes on our planet. Like here in eastern Washington, this lava flowed more than 100 miles from its source. But why are there different kinds of volcanoes? It all boils down to magma chemistry. Silica, a combination of the elements silicon and oxygen, controls magma viscosity. The higher the silica, the stickier the magma. Magmas around the world have silica contents that range anywhere between 45% and 75% silica. 45% silica magmas create shield volcanoes built by the runniest lavas we have in nature. The lava flows cool to form the igneous rock basalt. 60% silica magmas create stratovolcanoes built by alternating layers of andesite lava rock, pyroclastic flows, and volcanic mud flows known as lahars. 75% silica magmas that flow like toothpaste create supervolcanoes with plugs of rhyolite lava that ultimately self-destruct, leaving enormous calderas up to 60 miles across. The higher the magma silica content, the more dangerous the volcano. The stiffer magmas tend to trap explosive gases, which causes pressure to build. Shield volcanoes don't trap their gases, so eruptions usually last for months and months. Stratovolcanoes erupt only after hundreds of years of pressure buildup. And supervolcanoes erupt after hundreds of thousands of years of gas trapping. Not a surprise that humans have never seen a supervolcano erupt. And there's a nice global pattern for these magmas. The low silica magmas form when oceanic crust is melted, like in Hawaii or Iceland. The high silica magmas form when continental crust is heated up, like the Yellowstone caldera in Wyoming or the Long Valley caldera in California. And the 60% silica magmas typically form at the edges of continents, at the coast, where the 45 and 75% silica magmas mix in a subduction zone, like the Cascades of North America or the Andes of South America. So is it really that simple? Well, not exactly. I mean, Mount Mazama, the famous eruption that made Crater Lake in Southern Oregon, that involved magma that was 69% silica. That doesn't fit nicely into our three groups, right? And basalt flows, coming out of shield volcanoes don't always happen in the middle of the oceans. I mean, there's the Columbia River basalts here in eastern Washington. And last time I checked, we're not in the middle of an ocean. Volcanoes around the world. It's all out here to see. Coolies, rocks, and canyons is scenery. Right here for you and me. Two-minute geology.